really wanted to get you together and I wanted to kind of give you my philosophy. You know, and it's pretty simple, believe it or not, you know. I don't like to word, use the word simple because if things were so simple, they wouldn't be so hard to do. And, you know, you know we have a lot of issues in the Army, a lot of processes, and, and, and sometimes simpler is harder. It just seems to be that way, and I'm not sure why, but, you know, I think sometimes it's human nature. But, you know, start out with, you know, non-commissioned officer, you know. Um, I've probably been a non-commissioned officer probably longer than some of you have been in the Army. Um, you know, I'm going on my 31st year. You know, I've been an NCO since my second year. Um, you know, second and a half year. Um, so I've been an NCO a long time. Don't mean I know it all, because I don't. You know, I'll be the first one to tell you. You know, the young Sergeant Kim here could come up to me today and tell me something I probably don't have a clue about. You know, and that's okay. And it's okay with me. I don't, it don't bother me because if you're not willing to accept knowledge from somebody else, no matter if they're younger or more inexperienced, then you have to really look at yourself. But the non-commissioned officer corps, just like, you know, if you're standing outside and, and, and the national anthem, if it don't send a chill down your spine when you think about it and, and, the, and the responsibilities, you know, I, I want you to really look at it, okay? You know, does any of you know the NCO Creed by heart? It's tough. I used to, but you know, if you don't stay on top of it, but I, I can usually pull out the, what I feel the real important parts, but just like reading the NCO Creed or hearing it read in an NCO induction ceremony, kind of should maybe send a chill down your spine. You know, if it don't, you know, like I said, relook look at what, what, you're, what you're doing, what you want to do, you know, in the Army, you know, because, you know, we talk about we're the backbone of the Army, um, you know, we talk about we're the doers, you know, we, we're, where the rubber meets the road, I've heard all kinds of things over the years. And, you know, and it's really true if we make it that way. If we make it that way. You know, it's easy to set back, be told what to do by a senior, where it's an officer, an NCO, you know, but really where we earn our money is doing without being told. What's the right thing to do? Um, I have a favorite saying is, you know, if you attempt to do the right thing, you're going to be okay where you're successful or not, you know, because I'll never fault you if you, you come up to me and attempt to do the right thing and didn't, we just didn't quite succeed. As long as you didn't do anything immoral or unethical, you're good to go. And, I, and, and I'll ask them, what's your new plan? And it's as simple as that, you know, and did you learn anything, you know? Right, wrong, or indifferent, you know? Um, you know that's where we need to be, and that should be your mind, that's the mindset I need you to have. You know, even here at the command group, you know, and, and at the senior level, you know, I, I share stories all the time, and I tell General uh, Tate to this, you know, back in November, you know, we did the senior leader workshop, you know, I was talking to the first sergeant, and I was right after I, you know, was selected to come up here, and I asked him how things are going, and what, what, what all do you guys do, and, you know, he, he said something that really hit me hard, he said, you know, Sergeant Major, we're busy, you know, we spend all our time planning, coordinating, or conducting events. And, uh, you know, that takes all our time. And, you know, if, you know, I'll be honest, the first thought in my mind was, wow, you know, not to put it too bluntly, but that kind of sucks. You know, where's the fun? You know, you, you're working hard, but where's the playing hard? Where's the fun? You know, you gotta have some fun, right? You know, make it interesting. You know, I, I see a lot of that going on, people having fun around here day to day, and that's good, because you can't, you know, if all you do is come to work, sit in your cubicle, look at your computer screen, and leave, wow, uh, it's pretty boring and you'll give us the bare minimum. So, you know, so hopefully you're getting that, you know, you're getting my point is, I need you to be aggressive, I need you to be proactive, you know, take charge, you know, work your officer and NCO relationships in your sections. You know, we're a senior headquarters, so it's tough. You get a lot of senior officers and they're overbearing a lot of times, because that's, that's how they got where they got. So you, you have to work those relationships, but that's incumbent upon us to work those so we can do our job. Uh, you know, used to call it, used to call it sergeant's business. Who remembers that? You know, not sure if I like the term. It's just doing doing your job, and that's that's taking care of our soldiers and taking care of ourselves. Um, so you know, non-commissioned officer is important. It's just not a strike. It's not a pay raise. It's a, it's a real it's a real responsibility. Okay. And it's just not your MOS or your expertise. The senior NCO in any section has overarching responsibility for every NCO in that section or soldier. 
whether you you know you're broke you're broken out into subsections which i know most of you are and you work for this officer that works for this officer but that senior NCO should still you know oversee the day-to-day -day business of what's going on and the care and welfare of, of, of your junior ncos and, and soldiers um, that's your pme that's your mentorship counseling how much of that's going on you know they still have those responsibilities and then as you junior NCOs, you have the responsibility then to take care of yourselves by getting, you know, your education, your self-education, getting in your PME, you know, and proving physical fitness if that's what you need, okay? So, you know, so what I'm asking of you is, you know, I need you to be non-commissioned officers. And it's just not a term. You know, it should be important to you. It should be very important to each and every one of you, you know, because it is important. Um, who here has ever or was inducted in the non-commissioned officer corps? Actually, a natural ceremony. Yeah, you know, that's sad. You know, and, and it's across the army. Uh, so we, we will work on that. So, you know, um, we'll try to have one here soon. But, you know, that, that sets the tone. That should set the tone for our young E5s when they come on board. You know, spell out the history, you know. Um, we're going to start a junior mentorship program here at the headquarters. We're going to define it, make it, get it working right, and then I'm going to push it out to the down trace. Um, because if we don't educate Sergeant Kim, especially as he, you know, they don't know what they don't know, right? You know, don't know the history. Who knows who uh, Frederick von Steuben is? Anybody know what the blue book is? Yeah, every, of you, every one of you should hold your hands up. The history of the non-commissioned officer, you know, how to get started, you know. So that's important. That's our history. That's our legacy. You know, when I'm gone, this young sergeant's going to be the command center major up here one day. You know, if she don't know, we, we're going to lose our heritage, right? Our legacy, you know. But that's how it should be important to. It's important to me, so I'm going to impart it onto you. So you'll impart it onto your juniors under you. So we realize that we can do our job. We we speak a lot of language as sergeant's business or as NCO business. That's, but do we do what we say? Um, and I'll be the first to say we're not so good about doing what we say. Okay. But it's uh, putting extra time in, which I believe most you do. It's stepping up volunteering for those hard tasks. Um, you know, so that's what I'm asking of you, okay? you know, to be those non-commissioned officers that we need. Be the future of the Army, because without you, we'll be done, okay?